Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> Back in the garage at Wrench Vendors. Uh, we're currently having a conversation because we bought this. And it is a, you know, 2,000 pound jack stand for a trailer. And we were going to use that on the project we're working today. The conversation we're currently having is how to build our own kickstand for this farm trailer. So more on that to come. Uh, we'll make it up as we go today. Biggest thing is, is there we go. that right there is sixty dollars. Yeah. And we've got enough scrap metal. I can build it a lot cheaper than that. Yeah. Scrap metal. Check it. See, we've got all of this junk. Anyway. So, tractor supply. I'll probably get that one back. Maybe. We're undetermined yet. That's the plan at the moment, though. Uh, so, what we're working on today is... A piece of uh, corrugated metal here I bought. We're going to build a basket on the front of the tray here to haul small gas cans and everything. And the story here is, if anybody watched the uh, teardrop build video, this was the first teardrop frame. And it was way too heavy for what I wanted it to be. So I backed up and punted and built one lighter and kept this frame sitting around. Then I got this old junk axle off another small trailer, and I'm not 100% happy with it, but for the purpose of this trailer, it's going to be fine. And then I've got this tank off my father-in-law, and I haven't figured out the math. I don't know where it's 100 gallon or 150 gallon, but there's plenty of tank there. And this is for diesel fuel out of the farm. If anybody heard that, I just kicked something. Go ahead. So... Uh, we got tractors out there, my mower's diesel and um, skid steer, a few things, and I want to keep fuel out of the farm, and I had this out there last year on like a pallet, but anytime you got to fill it up, you got to put it in the truck, put it on the trailer, unload it, and unloading it's a lot heavier, obviously it's harder to unload it, so I thought if I put it on a trailer, then I can wheel it around the farm wherever I need it at, and then just take it down the road. We got a gas station, three different gas stations within five miles of the farm. So I can go fill it up and bring it back and wheel it around the farm until it runs out again. So that's the theory behind this trailer. It doesn't have to be much. It doesn't have to be pretty. It just has to be functional. And that's what we're going to be doing today. You've kind of finished building this trailer for the most part. And uh, then we'll paint it later and do the finish work. Yep, that's what we're working on today. And for all of you who haven't met, this is Kagan. That's my dog. Mm, okay. And he's here. He's going to hang out a little bit with us today and maybe help out on a few things. So, just going to give you a quick walk around on the trailer. Like I said, it's just a, uh, this is an old front axle that has been welded. It's just a farm trailer. We're not looking for much. And somebody welded the knuckles, and it does have a good toe in, but the way it sits on the springs, it actually, the whole axle turns this way some. The spring hangers and everything are welded square on the trailer. And I'm like, I was debating whether tearing it down and welding the spring hangers not square to make the axle square, but it's not all that bad. So I'm just going to leave it. It'll pull fine around the farm. It ain't going to matter. It if this thing was going to see more road time, I'd worry about it. It haunts you, though. It I does haunt me. Sleep. I lose sleep over at night. So anyway, that's the project for today. We'll see how it goes. I don't care. <laughs> so I just was noticing, and he's not a fan of it, but look at the gap here. See? Two fingers. Look at the gap back here. Three fingers. A little bit of a toe-in problem. Well, the toe-in is not the problem. The problem is, is this tire is just the opposite of that. It's, it's a farm trailer. We don't care. These, I'm but... not going to use these rims and tires, though. I'm going to use trailer tires. This, these just fit right now, and I've got other rims that I'm going to put tires on that's going to go on there. Excuses, excuses. Yes, yes, I am. But that's okay. Hey, we're just, uh, like I said, farm trailer. We've got her moved up. <clears throat> uh, ready to get started here. We're going to hopefully have a tank on it by the end of the day. Maybe have a tray built on the front. we got a light kit over here somewhere. Where did that go? Here we go. Light kit. Maybe. See, we've got an old light kit. I say old light kit. It's actually a new light kit, but... Uh, that's what we're doing. And now we're going to go out here. I'm going to walk out here and show you. Okay. As we're going to build. We got we're going to build the, the rack on the front of this thing with that expanded metal. But we've got some 
angle iron out here off of an old piece that we are going to go get. And when we go get it, I will show you. So this was some frame that a guy was trying to scrap and he was talking to my dad and my dad saw it and said hey we can use that for something and we're good because that's how my dad functions and here we go we found a use for it oh, so uh, before we go to packing this inside a uh, little preview uh adam look to your left yeah that's coming yep that hey. is going to be soon we got some stuff to do for that here we go now, you guys are running me off the trailer. <laughs> and now it's time to get to work. working on he has created this brace you can see the red you know fancy I gotta come around this centerpiece right here I'm gonna weld all the way around strengthen this area I've got support here I just in case there's any weight put on the back side of this I want it to be good and strong with the way of the trailer since I did splice pieces here anyway we've uh, made that support because it's going to be Grab that, put it on there. Just gonna be part of this shelf basket, uh, front of the fuel trailer. Also, uh, added some support there to the C channel for the pedestal that the tank is gonna yeah, sit these, on. These two holes here, hole here behind Kagan. Here is the, these are the tank wraps here, and there's the two holes that's part of your wrap. And uh, there's one on each side, so we'll have a mount there and a mount here, and those will hold the tank in place in between the wheels. And then we'll have the basket on the front to put gas cans or anything like that because the tank will be diesel fuel. So if you need anything else other than diesel, or if you got any materials you want to haul around the farm while you got the diesel fuel there, you can put them in the basket because we're going to use the angle iron we cut and make a basket about yay tall. Yeah, and grab one of them pieces. That's what I have been working on, just cutting some 12 inch pieces. So that'll go in something there. like that. Got to square everything up here. Just a little bracket. And then we'll have a piece back to here. I have another one of those. And on around, and we'll have angle iron on top of this. That'll kind of create a railing. And. Take a second here to show you how this railing is coming along. I've uh, been working on it. You can see we uh, cut some 45s in the angle, piecing it together. Why don't you go ahead and pull that back off there so they can kind of see how that works together. Let me change directions here because it's a little bright. In that corner, you can see how we 
have notched this piece out and set it in. Then the other piece is going to set in there on it. Go ahead. And then we'll weld it, of course, and grind it down, make it all pretty. But that is pretty much how it's going to function and how it works. We got and I'll just walk you around here to the back side. This is what the uprights ended up like. Uh, I had to cut a piece out of the angle here. You know, weld it on. It's just tacked at the moment so we can get it all square and straight. But that's the update so far on how the basket's coming together. Got the door open. Feeling pretty good out today, so we've got a little bit of extra sunshine here in on the bay. We'll uh, finish the basket here in a little bit, at least get the right start burning everything in. And then uh, I'm gonna make some brackets on the back to put our lights. They don't need to be nothing fancy, but I want the lights above the frame. That way, nothing will snag them from the outside of the frame or from below if the trailer gets tilted because this is going to be out on the farm. It might see some rough usage. We're going to take a moment <laughs> to admire a mistake. <laughs> so we welded these uh, tabs on here as extra support for as what you can see is the fuel tank mounts. They bolt on, strap the fuel tank in. Well the problem we're having is we welded this up all nice and pretty but then we can't get our nut on the bottom side of that. So we got to cut all this back off and switch it to the front and support it from the front side here. There might need to be a uh, definition change from the Wii to... Well, I done it. this is true, yeah. Technically, I wasn't part of this, but I'm going to help fix it. So here we are. More to come. We're all here Stay to tuned. Each other, that's why. Yep. day we're about to wrap up for the day uh, we got our front basket here complete uh, everything's welded up I still need to tack down a few more pieces of the grating just to make sure it stays where it's at but it's not bad uh, it's pretty well complete the main fabrication we're gonna do a little bit of touch up and obviously we'll paint a little bit um, but for the most part, the fabrication is complete. There's one major piece, and that's the kickstand or the trailer jack that is not complete yet, but that'll have to come later because we ran out of time today. I'll work on it next weekend. 
try and get it done. We'll finish the kickstand and get everything worked out on the tongue here. I probably I'm gonna put me a handle here so I can pick it up and dolly it around. But yep. other than that, that's really all the fabrication that's left. Uh, we stay just like it is. We have added. We didn't talk about it, but we did add these light brackets. Just more of that angle from the piece earlier. We made some little L brackets for lights and they'll just slide right in there and bolt on and then we will wire up to the front for some trailer lights just so we can trailer it down the road to get some fuel you know nice hundred gallon tank it's going to be good for farm use now I'm trying to think how much diesel fuel weighs a gallon but water's eight pounds a gallon so this is a hundred gallon tank if you just fill it full of water, that's 800 pounds. I mean, it's a little trailer, but it's going to have, if you have anything in the basket and fill this tank completely up, it'll have 1,000 pounds sitting on it. Seven pounds. Seven pounds? Seven pounds a gallon. So that's 700 gallons of diesel fuel in this tank when it's full. Yep. So, it'll be good enough for the farm. Obviously, it needs some tires, because those ones right there, them, them aren't even May Pops. Them are Will Pops. Will Pops. That right there will not last long. But... That's it for today. That's just the final video, final little shot for the day. Um, we're uh, biggest problem is, is we're trying to get some of this stuff finished up for the summer, for the spring. Uh, this is gonna help me get stuff down out there at the farm, things that I have to do. Um, we've got a few more other maintenance things to do, um, but then hopefully the plan is is to finish up these little projects and move on to bigger projects like the truck out there and. Uh, maybe some motorcycle work that Kagan's excited about and get the Jeep in here and do some work on the Jeep and see what everything else we can come up with. I know Adam's wanting to get into a project and we aren't throwing any information out there on what that's going to be yet because he's still yet to decide but there's a lot of things coming, a lot of little other projects around that we can tinker on so just see what happens. Yep. Well, thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. Thanks guys. See ya.